now in the Rhine-Main region, one of Germany's biggest metropolitan areas. But I'm still rolling through places that could almost be villages. I now have 1,623 kilometers, two-thirds of the distance, behind me. And with 53 days, two-thirds of the time as well. Let's hope the trip takes the 80 days I planned. In Wiesbaden, the capital of the state of Hessen, I discover the Harlekeneum, a museum of humor. And I ask myself, what is it about the German sense of humor? Devoting a museum to it doesn't sound very funny, and Germans aren't exactly considered world champions in the laughs department. According to a worldwide survey among 30,000 internet users, the Americans took first place, the Spanish took second, and the Italians got bronze. Germany ended up in 15th and last place in the sense of humor sweepstakes. Despite that crushing defeat, 72% of Germans think they have a good sense of humor and only 9% say they have none. What a contradiction. Okay, maybe it's not that funny in Germany, so let's see if we can do it better in a museum. A few things look amusing, but is it really that funny in here? I ask the museum director, Michael Berger. How can you capture humor in a museum? By making it hands-on, because your mind will grasp what you can grasp with your hand. How often do you laugh here in the museum? I laugh whenever I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Seen statistically, that's a lot for Germany. Germans in general spend only six minutes a day laughing. Forty years ago, that figure was 18 minutes. Oh well, life just keeps getting more serious. Okay, if we don't laugh a lot, at least I want to know what makes us laugh. Do we laugh about ourselves or at others? How well everybody's heard about the bird. My first test subject thinks my pratfall's pretty funny. The next seems shocked to be amused. And then there's pure enjoyment. Two to one. It's not surprising. Schadenfreude is a German word, and I'm sore from falling down. But how about laughing at ourselves? My first subject keeps a very straight face. But here's a person who can laugh about herself. And here's another. So, two to one for self-mockery. We Germans seem to laugh at both others and our own misfortunes. Okay, we will finally get everybody to laugh after all. Supposedly, laughter is contagious. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Deadly silence. Interesting. Maybe we Germans aren't humorless, we just don't laugh that much. I bet a laugh in any case. Now it's off to the south at the breakneck speed of 12 kilometers an hour.